Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about Pop OS Cosmic. So let's just start it. Now, from one look, if you see this desktop, you would see that it looks like GNOME. Okay, uh, you would say that it is GNOME with a dash to dock extension. What's the difference? Pop OS Cosmic is not actually just a different Linux distribution. It also has a different desktop environment. Now, normally we have GNOME, KDE, Cinnamon, Pantheon, Deepin, Cinnamon, XFCE, etc. All those desktop environments. But they have launched the System76, the team behind PopOS, have launched their own desktop environment called Cosmic. Now, that's a different desktop environment, but the thing is, a lot of the times desktop environments are based on others. They are a folk. And over here, what we have is a fork of GNOME. That is why it looks so similar. But we will see, does it hold up? So when you see, this is a dash to dock. Now we get a option in the start that do you want dash to panel like look or a dash to dock like look? So that is something good. So from start, like when you set up, it looks like it's quite promising. Like it has a dock built in. We are asking GNOME team for so long to have something like that in built into GNOME, but it do, uh, but they won't here. So it looks good in the start, but as you go in, things start to make no sense at all. So let's just go through it instead of just me talking about it. So in over here, if you press super key, it opens a launcher. Now in normal GNOME, that opens a workspace. But not a problem like there, uh, there are a lot of key bindings, so not a problem. Now I don't know what the key binding for workspace is, but I do know the key binding for applications is still super plus A. The application list over here is quite small, like we have GNOME extensions, thank god. We have LibreOffice, Firefox, so they don't have a lot of bloat pre-installed. And it already has applications that you need to just get started or boot from USB and do some work, etc. Since the source is in at least a virtual machine, it's only 1.1 gig. So not bad. Now let's just see what uh, it looks like. If you go to workspaces, you see difference. Now let me open an app for you. Okay, it my muscle memory is really <laughs> annoying me because I have a memory to just press this super key and it opens workspaces, but here it doesn't, so it will take some time. So we go to workspaces and you can see vertical workspace. Now I think that's what they wanted to go with. They wanted vertical workspace desktop instead of what GNOME has got now, horizontal workspace. Now, I can understand a lot of people still like vertical workspace. They don't like horizontal. I was one of them, but I adapted now and I just can't really go back to vertical, but I don't have a problem with it. If someone gives me that, I can use it peacefully. I don't have any problem with vertical workspaces. Just that horizontal now makes most sense to me. Also, it's what GNOME is using now. So I didn't have a choice and I was really mad when gnome did it and uh, but well i am used to it now and i don't think it's much of a problem now so also you would see we have now workspace and applications are different okay so normally gnome workspace and applications are part of one another but here they are different now that is something i really really hate in this like I just can't get why they did that. Let me explain you. So let me say, okay, I will do that later on. So let's just first see the settings. So here's a setting. We have network, Bluetooth, like just like normal room settings. We go to desktop. Now here's things different. We have super key action, launcher, workspaces, or applications. So how does it work? So if I press super now, I get applications. If I do it workspaces, now I get workspaces. The problem now I have is, let me just show you. I press super and uh, I like rearrange my windows. Okay. And I now type settings. What do you do? 
nothing for opening our app i either need to change it to launcher so that opens a launcher and i can open settings but i now lost my workspaces okay so let me just do set it up workspace and i remember there was a search bar and applications so i just need to press super plus a then i can type settings and it's just annoying to me in normal gnome you can just press press super key handle your workspaces or just start typing and it will open the applications so you don't need to uh, have a lot of different key combinations when you can just press a super key and you can do a lot of tasks from there i just can't understand why they changed that i will show you what it looks like in gnome in just a second we also have hot corner not working in a virtual machine show workspaces button that we have over here and uh, let me just hide that applications hide that i really don't like those buttons i really like the shortcuts much more we have date and time positions right now this is also one more thing i don't like when i go to right it just fully goes to right like i like it when it's over here somewhere in front of extensions not at the end but yeah i can handle that not much of a problem also left so good okay we have some options at least gnome doesn't give us that also we also have show maximize button <laughs> and it just crashed and it didn't do anything now it's working so we have maximize and uh, i really don't like this icon nope no thank you i would rather disable that now we have background so we have quite a few backgrounds we have cosmic and we have this one this also looks like cosmic and this so quite a few good backgrounds they are not bad we also have appearance light theme and dark theme it's good they are having dark theme by default we also have dock now dock we have a feature called extend extend dock to the edges of the screen now this is the option you get when you start uh, it for the first time it gives you option do you want it like this or that or that so it has this option uh, looks like a, a windows taskbar it seems and this one is just small dock beautiful we can hide these icons so you can see launcher workspaces applications like three different things for something we don't need it i just can't uh, think of any reason why they wanted that so entirely hide all good we have dock size so we have small medium large and of course custom so that looks good we have bottom along left side along right side and bottom like i like workspaces we also have features so we can like fix number of workspaces so four you can see we have four even though we don't have four uh workspaces in use right now so that's good we have dynamic now it's coming to gnome 41 so that's not a problem also gnome is also getting that and we also have this along the right side like it was used to in gnome normal i which i was used to and we can also get it to the left side now once we have seen display let's see notifications applications like all the basic stuff it's a snow with a different coat a different paint you see and it just doesn't make sense to me why they wanted that over here you can see the gnome version is 3.38 okay and uh, so they are saying that you are they are using gnome now i think in past they said cosmic over here but now they're saying gnome i don't really know what was before but okay at least they are admitting it's gnome and i just can't understand the reason behind it it looks great don't get me wrong it looks great has a lot of features that we would install anyways the dock and stuff all handed up the problem is it's old 
like GNOME 3.38 is in the past now. GNOME 40 is the future. GNOME 41 is around the corner. It's just coming. I tested in a virtual machine and it looks great. So why would we need something like Cosmic? It doesn't serve any purpose in my opinion until and unless you just want that vertical workspace with all your mind. You just want it. You can't live, live without it. Then I think it's great. Or if you are a fan of Popos, like Popos is a great distribution. You can be, it's great. So then also you can use it. But for me, I don't think so. Now, let me just show you what my normal GNOME looks like. Go over here. This. This is what my GNOME desktop looks like. I have this. Okay, my own uh, extension over here. The settings over here, all those stuff and clock over here in the center transparent bar dash to dock <laughs> so you can see it really looks like uh, the same in pop os and application tree over here and let me show you what i meant i go to over here and i can just like change the workspace i can go over here open settings you can see one key can do everything. If I press, this, press it double, like twice, it opens my application menu. So one key has three functions and it's all intuitive. Like it just makes sense. And I think why they separated it was they just wanted to make something different. They didn't have anything good in mind that why they need that. They didn't need that. They made that so that it is different. It, they can call it cosmic and stuff but at the end of the day it just doesn't make sense and it would have been better if they contributed to gnome directly if they contribute to extensions like dash to doc directly if they contribute to the upstream projects that it took from without just like fork it we will make our own that doesn't make any sense now i think some would like it and if they do uh, it's very good like if you like it it's great then it's meant for you if you don't then it's not meant for you so it isn't i don't like it because it's not meant for me i guess and uh, that's all i want to say i think so if you want to use it go ahead really a uh, good pop OS is a really great distribution it's still based on no so it also so it still is like really good works great it's just some decisions they make that don't make sense. So I hope it wraps it up. If you like this video, then please do subscribe and like this video and I will see you in my next video. Also one thing before I go, I also post on Odyssey. So Odyssey, LBRY, whatever you want to say it. So I hope you also see it over there. If you are on there, you can watch my videos there. So see ya.